Four Israelis have been killed by Palestinian gunmen near West Bank settlement. This is from BBC News. Four Israelis, including a teenage boy, have been shot dead in an attack near a settlement in the occupied West Bank. One of the strong arguments that Israel supporters make for Israel, for the reason behind the creation of the state of Israel, is this idea that without a Jewish state, Jews will not be safe anywhere in the world. Outside of Israel, Jews are not safe. And sadly, it seems only just outside Israel, only a few miles outside their Jewish state, uh, four Israelis have been murdered. Four others were wounded, one of them seriously, when two Palestinian gunmen opened fire at a restaurant and a petrol station outside Eli on Tuesday. So Eli, or Eli, uh, must be one of these settlements that are dotted around the West Bank and they're kind of like gated communities and only Israeli Jews are allowed to live there. And that is within the Palestinian territories, but Palestinians can't go there and shouldn't be there. Obviously, one gunman, a Palestinian gunman, has burst into this settlement area and unfortunately murdered four people. The Palestinian militant group Hamas said the gunman were its members. Okay, so you've got Hamas, who control the Gaza Strip, uh, are also active in the West Bank. But the West Bank is controlled by Fatah. And Fatah clamped down hard on Hamas in the West Bank and tried to control them. And I can remember being in the West Bank and seeing the green graffiti of Hamas on the wall in certain places. But people would say, oh yeah, that's Hamas. But they're they're not in control here, but they are active. And sadly, they've murdered four people in the West Bank. So these militants have broken into the settlement, killed four people. One of the militants was shot dead at the scene by an armed civilian. By an armed civilian. Right, so these settlers that are living in the settlements in the West Bank are armed then. They're armed. That was a armed civilian that responded. You get that a lot in America, don't you? As soon as someone pulls out a gun in America, someone else pulls out another gun. And there's that old saying, the only way to stop. A bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. So there was a good guy with a gun on this settlement that was attacked by terrorists the other day. Israel's Prime Minister said all options are open in response to what he called the shocking and abhorrent terrorist attack, which followed heightened violence across the West Bank in recent days. So, a lot of people live in the West Bank. Palestinians live in areas, some of which are controlled by the PA, Palestinian Authority, which is Fatah. Some are kind of joint control by the Israelis and the Fatah, kind of like a halfway house, if you like. And other areas are completely inaccessible to Palestinians and controlled by the Israeli occupation. And those areas are designated A, B and C, according to how much autonomy the Palestinians have or don't have in each of their areas but somewhere like Hebron completely full lockdown Israeli occupation totally in control somewhere like Ramallah or Nablus or where did this event happen I think this happened on the road from Ramallah to Nablus so somewhere along yeah along the path from two Palestinian controlled areas there are many many Israeli settlements in between, that's where you get the checkpoints, that way you get the army bullying, picking on Palestinian people and reminding them that they are under a brutal military occupation. 
Adam Hagari said IDF soldiers and officers from the Shin Bet Security Service later found the vehicle that the attack was carried out from 29 kilometers to the northeast and they shot and killed the second gunman. Those who were killed were identified as 18 year old Alicia Antum. I mean, it's awful for anyone to be murdered, but an 18 year old that's pretty horrendous. And 63 year old Offer Fairman from Eli. Again, that's the settlement, I think, Eli. 17 year old, so young to be murdered. Uh, Nachman Mordov from the Ahia settler outpost east of Eli. And 21 uh, year old Harold Masood from Yad Binyamin, a town in central Israel. Interesting, Harold Masood there has an Arab name, and uh, so many of the settlers that head to the West Bank are of Mizrahi, or Arab Jewish uh, background. And that outpost, the Ahia settler outpost, you've got settlements in the West Bank. They're all illegal under international law, but some of them are even illegal under the Israeli law. And an outpost might suggest that it's not an official settlement. It's actually one that the settlers themselves have set up. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in a statement, From the depths of my heart, I send condolences to the families of those who were murdered. May God avenge them. And on behalf of the entire people, I send my best wishes for a swift recovery to the wounded. And a spokesman for Hamas, Hazem Qasem, said the shooting was a response to the crimes of the occupation in Jenin refugee camp yesterday. This is the problem with the Israel-Palestine conflict. When do we start the clock? Every act of violence is always a revenge for something that happened the previous day or the previous week. It's a cycle of violence. And seven Palestinians were killed, including a 15-year-old boy and a 15-year-old girl named Sadil Ghassan Turkman, who died of her wounds on Wednesday morning and more than 90 wounded during a raid into the camp. This was the raid on the Janine refugee camp where people have been living as refugees since 1948 in the hope that they can go back to the homes that their parents and grandparents were kicked out of. Hours after the shooting in Eli, that's the settlement, groups of Israeli settlers attacked several nearby Palestinian towns and villages, throwing rocks and setting vehicles on fire. The cycle of violence continues. And it is horrific when anyone gets murdered, whether it's revenge or whatever the reason. But I think something that was missed in all the coverage when we hear about Israelis being murdered is that this happened outside Israel. It didn't happen in Israel. It happened in the Palestinian territories. And that is where the occupation is happening. And that is where the apartheid is happening. People that bang on about Israel being an apartheid state. There's no apartheid in Israel. The country, Israel, as recognised internationally. But there is apartheid in the Palestinian territories which are illegally occupied by Israel. 